201 inches on my face. And by that, I mean I'm watching the equivalent of a 201 inch cinema size screen within these glasses. Oh, and instead of using an external display to edit this video, I plugged these glasses into my MacBook Pro, giving me a potentially game-changing solution to a problem I've been having with eye strain. Let me explain. Right, so a short while ago, I took a look at the Enreal Light AR glasses. And while I was very impressed, there were a couple of things I wanted to see from a future pair of Enreal AR glasses. And a lot of those have actually been answered with these Enreal Air versions. And I also stumbled upon a couple of shocking findings that I wasn't really expecting. Now, Enreal actually sent these glasses over for me to take a look at and are sponsoring this video. But as always, I'll tell you what I like and things that I think potentially could be improved because nothing's perfect. But let's start with what are these glasses actually intended to do? Well, when you put them on, they allow you to consume content, whether that be gaming, watching movies, multitasking, work and or social media, and even certain exercises in mixed reality. So either in VR, virtual reality, or AR, augmented reality, where the content is overlaid or superimposed onto your current real world surroundings. So you can interact with both. And this idea of the metaverse is something that is growing in popularity. And although definitely far from complete, many believe this area will definitely play a huge part in our future lives. Now these glasses are designed to be compatible with Android phones, but also iPhones, iPads, Android tablets, and laptops that support DisplayPort over USB-C, and MacBooks that use the M1 chip. And that was a very unique experience when I tried that, as you'll see. Now, there are two main modes within the Nebula app, which is what runs the features on the phone. Aircasting, which simply mirrors your phone, and AR space. Aircasting is excellent for simply using your phone as you would, but where you want an enlarged screen, but don't have the space for it or the equipment. So I actually took these away with me when I went to Paris and Berlin last month, and I used them in the hotel room. I watched a football match with them on, and I also went on Netflix and watched movies and TV shows, again, whilst using them. And it made me feel like I was almost in a cinema, but inside my hotel room, just chilling on the bed. A cinema screen in your pocket, basically. I also dabbled on that large screen with a spot of gaming, all from within the comforts of the room. But more on all of that in a second. Now, the second mention mode is the AR space, and this is something completely different. You have like a home space with web browsers, games, a digital pet, access to platforms like YouTube, and even an exercise program that gives you different backdrops for you if you have a stationary exercise bike teleporting you to lots of different locations from all around the world to spice up those routines. Now, for me, this section doesn't feel quite finished, and it would be nice to see more compatibility with more features, more apps, and I'm sure they are coming, but this will take time, just like with everything in this space. But in the AR space, you use your phone like a remote to resize and move screens and interact with the multiple windows that can be on offer. It is a very unique and enjoyable experience. Multitasking, viewing social media, gaming, and even a spot of work. You also have brightness and volume controls here, and this thing gets pretty bright, viewable even outdoors with its anti-reflective coating and a peak brightness of 400 nits. All of this is being viewed via two Full HD Sony Micro OLED displays. And if you wanted the outside light a little more watertight and or you prefer the idea of VR, for less distraction, you can clip on this light shield. Now, staying with the displays quickly, these glasses are also the world's first AR device with a TÜV Rhinon low blue light and flicker-free certification, helping to protect your eyes from unnecessary strain. And on eye strain, due to my job, I'm staring at screens a lot of the time and usually pretty close, whether that be a laptop, computer, lots of different phones that I test. Everything is sort of right here. So after a long day at work, I do tend to get a bit of eye strain and I have some prescription glasses which I use occasionally. Now often to counteract this issue, a lot of people who do a similar job tend to have larger external displays that they hook their laptop up to, for example. So it's further away and larger to sort of alleviate some of that eye strain. But funnily enough, I actually thought about plugging these in to my MacBook Pro for script writing, editing, and it projected my laptop screen further back and blew it up. So it felt like I was looking further away and it definitely felt like it was having less impact on my eyes. Now, obviously for the record, I'm not an optician. If you didn't clock that already, do I look like an optician? 
<laughs> Definitely do your own research in this department and get advice from an expert. But it did seem... Just drop them. Hopefully they're not broken. But it did seem to be beneficial for me in that department. If you are into your gaming, you can experience a 130 inch screen thanks to the Enreal Air's support for cloud gaming, not only on an iPhone and many Android phones, but also Steam Deck, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. And you can connect up to a console controller via Bluetooth and use it that way. So again, it just makes it feel that much more immersive. To set them up, if you're using a phone, all you need to do is plug in this USB-C cable connecting your device and the glasses, and then download the Nebula app and you're good to go. I'm using an Oppo phone here, but it could be numerous different options and also compatible now with iPhones using this adapter. This is an additional purchase, however. Really nicely adjustable fit with different size nose guards and height adjustable arms with the ability to add prescription lenses as well. The arms also have a screen on and off button as well as screen brightness ones with super linear speakers with a bass enhancement algorithm either side for that added immersion. Although maybe connecting them up to a pair of truly wireless earbuds, for example, might be better for you if you are especially in a public space and you don't wanna disturb those around you with the speakers on here with what you're doing. Now, I do think they look a little bit on the chunky side in terms of the aesthetics, and I still don't think they look super cool on me anyway, but they definitely look better than the Enreal Lite versions, and they are still really nice and light and compact. Inside the box, you get a traveling case, the Enreal Air glasses, three nose pads, a light shield, prescription lens frame, a USB-C cable, and a cleaning cloth. Now, it would be nice to actually be able to use these wirelessly without using this, especially if you're gaming or exercising, it would feel, again, that I keep using the word immersive, but it, it is the word of the day. Whether wireless functionality is somewhere they can go with this is another matter. And also if they were to do that, presumably they would have to make them slightly more chunky to fit in an internal battery because these are actually powered via the cable to whatever device you're using them with. And according to Enreal, you have up to five hours of video streaming on the lowest brightness settings with a phone of a battery of 4,000 mAh. So again, full battery life will be dependent on the device you're using and your user habits. Pricing and availability info will be left in the video description below for you to check out if you're interested. What do you think? Do you think this sort of tech is the future? Let me know in the comments. I would love to, as always, hear your thoughts. Smash that like button if you enjoyed or found this video helpful and subscribe if you want to see more tech content like this. Boom! I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. It says Bill T. Peace out.